Tell me, how engaged are your employees really? Are they motivated to achieve your business goals? Are they responsive and willing to share feedback? For those working in hybrid settings, how do you build a company culture that engages all your employees and builds a sense of connection online and offline? Any company that wants its employees to excel at their jobs needs to have answers to these questions, and there's never been a better time to think about how they apply to your hybrid teams. In recent years, we've experienced a shift towards a hybrid working model. As the global pandemic left us with no choice but to adapt to the work from home model, many companies and employees recognize the benefits of working remotely. The hybrid work model allows organizations to keep most remote work benefits, such as reduced commuting time, better work-life balance, and increased productivity while maintaining the camaraderie and trust that happens in the office. However, the hybrid working model also comes with its challenges. Making sure that all employees share a sense of connection while working from different locations isn't easy. That's why today we're going to unpack the topic of employee engagement and share five highly effective engagement ideas for the hybrid workplace. Before we get into it, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel so you're always up to date with our latest videos and you can check out our community page where we share our latest updates, polls, and more fun stuff for you to engage with. Now, let's get into it. If you want to drive your business forward, building a strong company culture is a necessity. In 1983, Quinn and Rohrbach coined a cultural assessment tool called the Competing Values Framework, which established the four types of company culture. This assessment provides an understanding of the key values, leadership types, and approaches to change in a company. It's extremely important to know the type of company culture you have and the type of culture you're trying to build. And there's no right or wrong culture. The point is to be clear about your values and expectations so they know how to get engaged and can start building a community in the workplace. The first type of culture is clan culture, also known as family culture. Companies with a clan culture are known to put a lot of emphasis on team building and employee well-being. Also, people who work in these companies usually have a lot in common with each other and they demonstrate shared values that also resonate with the company's goals. If your goal is to develop a clan culture at your core organization, look for ways to mirror clan culture values on a large scale in everyday activities. In a hybrid environment, it can be particularly challenging to feel like you're part of a family, but there are multiple ways you can foster the feeling of togetherness and connectivity online. For example, you can use Prezi video in online meetings so you can keep that face-to-face -face interaction even while presenting. Your content will appear right next to you on screen. Now let's talk about the ad hocracy culture. This type of company culture is, the, is best represented by fast growing tech companies like Apple or Facebook. The main characteristics of this culture are the drive for innovation and creativity in a flexible, fast paced environment. These companies are also keen on taking more risks than others. Many companies with an ad hocracy culture could benefit from the hybrid work model as it provides flexibility and can improve productivity. However, in a hybrid environment, you have to make sure that the teams have the right resources and tools to have effective organizational processes to make deadlines possible. Productivity tools and efficient communication channels are essential in this environment. Next is the market culture. This culture experienced its peak in the 1960s. It's highly performance oriented. The main focus is on business objectives and workers are encouraged to be result oriented by setting complex goals. Basically, this culture is all about the bottom line. In a hybrid setting, the market culture can either excel or struggle depending on the company. The most important factor for market culture companies in a hybrid environment is making sure that all organizational processes are optimized and employees are aligned with the business objectives no matter where they're located. Last but not least is the hierarchy culture. This culture is all about well-polished policies, structure, control, and strict boundaries. Everything needs to run smoothly and employees are expected to follow a long list of rules and stay in their lanes. A hybrid environment can be quite disruptive for a hierarchy culture, depending on the type of job and industry. Hybrid provides flexibility and hierarchy culture isn't really about flexibility. For hierarchy culture to go hybrid, it will require a set of well-defined rules and processes to keep an eye on every employee. Do you know what type of culture your company practices? Leave us a comment below and we'd love to know. 
Now that you have an idea of the type of culture you have or like to create in a hybrid setting, let's discuss the main area of challenge in a hybrid environment, communication. You've heard it before, communication is key. No matter the company culture, creating an effective hybrid workplace starts with providing easy access to all the resources and information employees need to excel at their jobs. Also, building employee engagement goes hand in hand with developing effective communication processes. If people are connecting online and offline, you still wanna foster that feeling of togetherness that ultimately motivates people to work harder and achieve their goals. To do that, use effective communication channels. It's particularly important to define one main communication tool, like email, Slack, Teams, whatever works best for your employees. This will improve the communication flow and increase productivity as you don't need to worry about countless pro communication tools. Next, create different channels within your communication tool for various teams and topics, clarifying the purpose of each channel. For example, you can create a sub-channel for book lovers where people can share their latest reads and recommendations, fostering engagement within the community. Finding similarities among your team members is essential to cultivating engagement in a hybrid setting. Lastly, encourage and engage employees by starting the conversation first. Bring enthusiasm and energy to the channels and provide support wherever needed. Another type of communication is online meetings and events. It's necessary to have face-to-face -face meetings to create a sense of togetherness, even if half the team is working from home. Aside from the formal meetings, introduce coffee breaks where people can gather in a call to have coffee or tea and simply chat about life just like a casual break in the office. Also, try hosting online activities and gamified experiences where you can do something fun with your colleagues, which creates a stronger bond between teams. And of course, team meetings. It's important to encourage check-in meetings on a regular basis to ensure that everyone's on the same page and feels highly engaged with the work they do. Last, but definitely not least, is recorded video messages. Sometimes it's not worth having a meeting when you just have an announcement to share, or maybe it's impossible to schedule a meeting if people are in different time zones. By recording a video message, you can still share important updates, introduce new team members, and communicate with those who are in different time zones. You can even record a Prezi video and share the important update right next to you. Another great use case is for new people to introduce themselves with a Prezi video and post it on the company's internet, like in the example here. It's a great way to share and communicate with others in a hybrid setting and feel connected. To ensure employees are highly engaged and motivated in a hybrid setting, listen to their needs and do your best to greet them. When welcoming new employees, ask for their needs and expectations in a hybrid environment. It's crucial to be on the same page from the get-go and understand what your employees are expecting within the hybrid workplace. After, you wanna define what the company can offer and the possibilities for improvement. Obviously, it's not possible to meet everyone's needs since they can drastically differ, but noticing what the common needs employees share and seeing the possibilities to meet them is crucial. Lastly, keep the conversation open. Engage employees in an active discussion about their goals and expectations. Even if some expectations can't be met, for now, it doesn't mean that they can't be met in five or 10 years. If we all share the same goal, it's more likely for us to achieve it. Without shared goals, it's easy to get lost in everyday tasks and meetings, forgetting what the company is really trying to achieve. By introducing shared goals, you can visualize and track your progress better. You can set company, department, and team goals to help employees structure their work and understand the higher level initiatives. You can use the dashboard like this one on Prezi Design where you can write down and identify the goals and share them with your team. How do you know whether your employees feel more motivated or engaged? Collecting feedback is one of the best ways to identify motivational factors, expectations, productivity, employee engagement, and other aspects. If you want to collect qualitative feedback, make sure you practice listening and notice changes in employee behavior. Next, you want to use anonymous surveys, polls, and questionnaires to really understand their experiences. And remember to create a comfortable environment for people to share their feedback. For example, instead of acting, asking for someone's feedback in an online team meeting, schedule a one-on-one -on -one with them to get more insights without the pressure of others listening to their conversation. 
Lastly, you want to educate others about healthy feedback practices to foster engagement among employees in the company. Now that we shared all five ways to foster employee engagement in a hybrid environment, leave us a comment below sharing which idea we shared in this video you're interested in trying out or are already doing. Also, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed watching and learning about employee engagement. I'm Neva from Prezi's editorial team, and I wish you success in creating the best hybrid environment for your employees. Have fun and see you next time.